Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you my partner and I spending an afternoon in the largest antique mall in Williamsburg. Williamsburg Antique Mall, very easily named, is this massive, massive building with hundreds of vendors and both of us were looking for a couple of pieces in particular and I also was just checking to see if there was anything that I could find to resell as well. But I love going to antique stores. It's a great way that if you are interested in starting to resell antiques or vintage glass and ceramics, it's a great place to learn not only about the different styles but also new brands that you maybe have not heard of. Plus it's just a nice way to spend an afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that footage now. So we're starting off strong with some beautiful Russell Wright pottery here. This is super sought after and collectible. And I know about this because my lovely friend Victoria over at Super Geek collects it herself. And so it always makes me think of her when I see it. Absolutely beautiful pieces. And then over here, I've talked about RS Prussia before. The red mark is very sought after and I've actually bought and sold a couple of pieces myself. Um, these are like peak example. And then here are some beautiful flow blue uh, pictures and I was just really happy to see them. So at 40% off, I saw this Struk horsehair blanket. I've actually bought and sold one of these, but this one when I opened it up was just plain. So it wouldn't fetch me the $100 price that the last one I bought did. And this goes to show you that you can't know everything. I knew what this was, and I just think it's very funny that the antique dealer didn't. This is a cigar ashtray, and the place where they have that little tag is where the match box goes, or the match little stick thing goes. So I just thought that was cute, and hopefully it makes you feel better about if you don't know what something is. You can't know everything, and learning is part of the fun of reselling. This is a majestic wall of wall pockets. <laughs> I've also bought and sold wall pockets quite a few times. I do try to pick them up whenever I find them, um, but a lot of times they get marked up at our thrift stores here, but I love them. This is a pair of Victorian boots. This is me seeing if my foot would fit them. Uh, that is a half size too small for me, or I probably would have been tempted to buy them. This is a decanter set. I believe this is a mid-century set. It is a locking set, so that way your secretary or the help can't get into your liquor while you are gone. That's what it's for. Uh, the reason I think these are mid-century is because they still have the actual type of whiskey or alcohol that's supposed to go in there printed on the bottles, which wasn't an antique thing that they did. So still really cool to see one of these in an antique mall. This was cute and creepy at the same time, so I had to share it with y'all. This is a gorgeous piece. It's only $800, and I am so tempted to buy it for myself. Uh, you guys can go ahead and pause to read if you want to read about the history of it. Absolutely gorgeous closing bookshelf. I have, it loved it. It was made in Japan. It's a beautiful piece of furniture, and I would fill it so quickly with all of the books that are all over my house right now. I could not stop staring at this. This is uh, in the style of Nigel. It's a reverse painted glass and I just couldn't stop looking at this lady. I really hope it finds a home soon. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, vintage postcards can be worth a lot of money. The vintage holiday ones are worth the most. This was an amazing Edwardian piece. You can see there that they want to sell it for $65, which is fair for that and my partner was looking at the books and the guns and i just thought this thing was also creepy and cute it's a nutcracker very painful looking inside but thanks for coming out with me i hope you enjoyed that i did end up picking something up for resale this is a set of eight i will show the picture over here uh, I've talked about Georges Briard multiple times on my channel. Georges Briard is best known for his glassware. Uh, if you find the Name Your Poison glasses by Georges Briard, those glasses can sell for $40 each and hundreds of dollars if you get a set of them. This particular pattern is the Damask Flower. 
Uh, and these are a set of eight highball glasses. I paid $20 for them and I have listed them for 70. So I'm willing to pay up for some things at an antique mall if I feel that they are marked low enough to where I could make a decent profit. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Hero, hero, I wanna be a hero, hero.